It's Valentine's Day here in the UK tomorrow, so I wanted to talk about the hoovering process that the narcissist will employ over this period. So if you're worried that they're going to come back for you, keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nurturing Coach channel. For those of you who are new, welcome and thank you for being here. If you haven't yet had a chance to subscribe, please do so. It does help us to reach more people. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow here in the UK and over the world. And I wanted to talk about the love and Valentine's Day, what it means to the narcissist. Um, so for most of us, if we're single on Valentine's Day, we only have a huff and a puff and moan about how it being a manufactured day for businesses to make loads of money out of you. But other than that, we just, we tend to ignore it really. We just go on with our normal day and wake up the next day and it's done. For a narcissist though, Valentine's Day on their own is for them, the ultimate sign of failure. If they are on their own on Valentine's Day, then it's saying to the world, I am unworthy, I am unlovable, I am inadequate. And they cannot collapse into that. They cannot cope with the pain of feeling like that. And so they will do everything they can to ensure that they are with somebody on Valentine's Day. And so it may be that they come for you but what I would guess is that they will be casting a very wide net so they're probably scouring through um, dating sites trying to hook up at the last minute with someone and um, contacting all of their exes trying to find someone anyone that will be with them on Valentine's Day so they can say to the world see I am loved and basically to stop them from feeling that that, um, that um, self inadequacy and that lack of love and so what if they do come back for you well the first thing is that I really hope that what I've just said you don't take too personally it isn't about you 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 know that a relationship with a narcissist it's about them and meeting their needs and so when I say that they are casting a wide net that's to, that's no representation of you that simply means that they're desperate they are so desperate not to be alone that they will try whatever tactics tactics they can so they will like I say be on those dating sites how but you may have a narcissist who's actually obsessive you may have an engulfing narcissist who they're so focused on you they will be turning on the charm they will be flattering you with memories of how wonderful things were they may even send gifts all to try and woo you back ready for the big day the big public display of i am not alone and i want you to be aware that it's it's all a facade it's all to meet their own need of not being alone and once that day is over they will resort to being exactly who they are which is incredibly difficult draining exhausting and abusive and so if your ex has reached out to you with all these promises trying to rekindle something telling you how wonderful it was how much they've missed you how they have really loved to see you they can't stop thinking about you and it's just before valentine's day just be aware that there's an ulterior motive like i said most of us we just get through the day we're not really that bothered it's it is what it is but for a narcissist it's a very public slight on their already fragile ego that they can't be with someone so they will try every tactic just so they can say to everyone see i'm so lovable i'm not on my own but then come the 15th they're back to type they're not that bothered so to protect yourself from that discard which will inevitably come 
or the persistent abuse if the relationship remains. Just be aware that their motives are not genuine. Their motives are purely driven by a desire to look like the perfect person rather than actually having that real thing of, oh my God, I, I love them and I miss them. Because if you love someone and miss them, you tell them that any day. You tell them that on the 1st of February or the 1st of January. It's not about the date. So if Valentine's Day is their motivation, you need to be questioning that because it isn't for most of us. Most of us, we survive. It's fine. We're not really that bothered. It doesn't mean any different. For me, it's my dog's birthday. That's what's more important to me on the 14th. So, and we just get through it. But for a narcissist who is so obsessed with covering up that feeling of not being loved, that fear of abandonment, that anxiety about who they are, Valentine's Day is this big show of oh how wonderful everything is how how great we know that we know people post all over social media oh the best day they get engaged and it's this public display of affection when actually real love you tell them on a daily basis in real love you show them on a daily basis in the little things you do not the big grand gestures but in those little actions the running a bath for them, the washing the pots after dinner, the recording their favourite TV programme. Those are the things that show love, not these big grand displays that are solely focused on public holidays, public events, so everyone can see how wonderful they are. So just be aware that over the next 24 hours, you may get love bombed. You may get that flurry of texts trying to win you back, trying to lure you back in. Or equally, if they're with someone else, be prepared for the public displays of affection that they will be ramming down everyone's throats to try and show how wonderful their life is. We know that it's not true. We know that there's an underlying motive and it isn't love. It is, it's fear. And so that's how you protect yourself. You protect yourself by being aware of what their underlying motivations are. For the rest of you who uh, are free and um, you don't get it or you're, you can bat it away really quickly, I really hope you have a great day. I'm, I know it sounds like it, but I'm not a Valentine's Day Scrooge. Okay, maybe a little bit of a Valentine's Day Scrooge, but I do hope you have a good day. Do something nice for you. Love comes from yourself so start by showing it to yourself buy yourself a card or buy yourself something nice or cook yourself a nice dinner show you the love and then you will attract it back to you once we start to feel that love within ourselves that's when we attract the right kind of love so i hope you do have a great day tomorrow love is wonderful when it's the right kind of love and I hope that you all experience that so take care everyone and I do look forward to seeing you in the next video bye bye